Good morning. Let's talk inverse operations. Inverse operations, inverse basically means opposite. If you just think of it as opposite, you're gonna be good. And operations you should know, we'll put them right here below the legs. Operations we have are add, subtract, multiply, though we don't use this symbol when we're writing out a sentence, and divide. Those are our basic operations. And what's it mean to be inverse? It means opposite. So these two are opposite of each other and these two are opposite of each other. And here's what I mean. If you had 10 and you added five, you get 15. Okay, now if you have 15 and you take away five, you get 10. So you start with and end with the same thing. That makes these two operations, or things that we did to the original, opposite of each other. Adding five and subtracting five are inverse operations. They're things that are opposite of one another. Similarly, we'll stay with 10 and five. If you had 10 times five, you get 50. And if you take that 50, and divide by five, you get 10. Here's a better way to write it, the way that I prefer to write it. Let's say you have 10 times five, divide five. What do you get? Well, following order of operations, uh, 10 times five is 50, and 50 divided by five is 10. So we ended with what we started with. That makes these things in the middle inverse. They cancel each other out. Okay, Ms. D, that's cool. Why would you use that? Because now that we're in algebra, you're gonna to have to be solving algebraic expressions and equations. Say that 10 times fast. And same way this is set up. So if we had, let's say, B add five was equal to 10, so in our head, because we're using simple numbers, we know that B is worth five because five plus five is 10. You've been doing that since your first, second grade. This is just the unknown thing. But if we're gonna use the process of inverse operations, well, what's happening to the B? This is how I like to say it. What's happening to the B? Well, it's being added by five. Okay, what's the inverse of that? Well, the inverse of add five will be subtract five. Here's where a lot of students go wrong. They put the minus five here and then they say, oh, B is equal to 10. In our minds, we know that's not right because 10 plus five isn't 10. Here's the part that we've got to remember. This equal sign, sort of a big deal. What you do to one side of an equation, remember an equation is just a number sentence with an equal sign in it. What you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side. Must, must, must. Otherwise, it's not equal. And it has to be equal. It's just like a rule. Okay, so then this is how we do it. 10 minus 5, oh, that's 5. And 5 minus 5, that's 0. I'm not going to write the 0. And 0 plus b is b. And then, oh, you're going to love this. How do we check to be sure this is right? Substitute the value of the variable. So where there's a B, we'll put its value. 5 plus 5 equals 10. And does 5 plus 5 equal 10? Uh, yeah. So B is equal to 5. Okay, let me check, be sure you can see all this. Oh yeah, we've got room for a whole nother one. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's say C divided by... 10 is equal to 60. So some number divided by 10 is gonna be equal to 60. So first thing I ask myself is, what's happening to the C? What's happening to the variable? Well, Miss D, the variable is being divided by 10. Okay, well, what's the opposite of divide by 10 or the inverse operation? Opposite of divide 10 is multiply 10. You know, I'm going to do the inverse operation in a different color. It might be easier. Okay. 
Whew, let's get into that in a second because that's some multiplication of fractions and I'm not sure that you got through that in fifth grade. But 60 times 10 is 600. Ugh. Here's what this is. This 10 is really a 10 over 1. And then, because they're opposite, we're multiplying, bloop, bloop, they can be divided each by themselves and then they go away and you end up with C. And how do we know that this is right? <sighs> Substitute the value of the variable. So where there's a C in the original equation, we put the value we think it is. Okay, well 60 is equal to 60, so that's easy. A 600 divided by 10? 600 divided by 10 is 60. Oh, 60 equals 60, we must be good. Okay, those are the basics of inverse operations. Very simple part of algebra. Might be difficult because this is your first day, but we'll get it. Let's do, let's do a couple more, just uh, so we have all four operations done here. Okay, all right, mm, M. Let's say we have M subtract three, and that's equal to 17. Okay, well, what's happening to the variable? To the variable, we're subtracting three. What's the inverse of subtracting? Adding, so if we're subtracting three, the inverse of that is add three. And I have to add three here. You don't have to put the equal sign. Sometimes I like to, just when we're starting out especially. Ooh, this one looks easy. 17 plus three is 20. Okay, negative three plus three. We haven't really gotten into integers, so you can think of it the other way. Three minus three. Here's, here's what this means. And I think this is valuable. If you have a number line, there's negative five or five to the left of zero, there's positive five. So if we start out with negative three, zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, and then we add three, adding three means go to the right, one, two, three, Boop. I am back up at zero, and zero plus m is m. How do we check it? <gasps> Substitute the value of the variable. What is 20 minus three? Ah, 17, Miss D. Awesome. Okay, very good. Let's try one with multiplication and we'll use its inverse. Okay, let's say that 55 is equal to 11L. I put the 11L because then you can see the difference between ones and Ls. 11L. Hmm. Well, what's happening to the variable? We're multiplying by 11. So we have to do the inverse, and the inverse of multiply is divide. Now, there's a couple ways you can write it. The first way you could do is like this, and there's nothing wrong with that. The preferred way in mathematics is to use a division bar. Go like this. And then we're divided by 11 because that's what we're multiplying the variable by. And 11 divided by 11 is one and one times L is L. And 55 divided by 11 is five. And then we'll check it. Substitute the value of the variable. Five goes in for L. So we're gonna say 55 is equal to 11 times 5. 11 times 5 is 55. Boom! Whoop. Okay, so today you're going to get a lot of practice on these four things. A lot of practice. How are we going to get better at stuff? We're going to practice it. Okay? Inverse operations.